the government obligation is to to find out what is in there, but the the the, 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 oblig the primary obligation is the people that is getting this chemical into commerce to provide the necessary toxicological information, and that is not happening. And that is something that we are going to be looking very carefully. The PPH, again, we don't know how much of that, in your investigation, will you be able to determine how much of that has been released, how much of that is in this chemical or in this tank? Will we be able to determine that? The comments that I have read from the CDC said that you will expect substantially lower uh, uh, contamination from PPH since the concentration is so small. But, but it's still, you know, when, when you are dealing with uh, very uh, active chemicals, I mean, these chemicals are created in industry to, to, to be reactive and to do the, the, the uh, chemical work, even in small quantities, they affect uh, human beings. They have the potential to affect human beings, and we should be worried about it. Definitely, they shouldn't be in drinking water, period, at any level. Senator Bill Laird again questioned banks on the information contained in the MSD sheets. In most instances, the MSDSs are a little bit more definitive than in this particular incident. As a, as a general rule, yes. Um, there's um, the, the notion of, of information contained in an MSDS being proprietary. Uh, when folks have a need to know, uh, that information needs to be obtained in some way, shape, or form by at minimum, the health professionals that would be tasked with providing health care to folks that are reporting with symptoms.